According to my research, the UN and the USA are trying to implant a law that requires everyone worldwide to be implanted with an RFID microchip. They're trying to make it out to be a good thing for us, stating that it will make life easier and also reduce crime because no one will be able to make a move or speak a word without the government knowing about it. However, this chip is just another method of government control a step closer to a new world order. Ito po yung new world order na tinatawag ay nasa Bible po na magkakaroon po tayo ng iisang government entire the world. Magkaroon po tayo ng iisang president who will rule the world or who will lead the world. Ito po yung tinatawag na new world order. With this RFID chip, all of our money, information, medical history, and everything will be programmed into this chip. No more social securities, oh, or I mean, no more social security cards, birth certificates, ID cards, or driver licenses, credit or debit cards bank accounts or anything all of this information will be on the implanted RFID chip and the government will have the right to withdraw money from your RFID implant for money you owe or money you owe them anytime they want with or without your consent or knowledge this will also enable the government to track you. Ibig sabihin, monitor ka po kung ano yung mga galaw mo, kung ano yung mga ginagawa mo, kung saan ka, or anything that you will do. So that means that there is no more privacy. Continue to track you out any given moment for any reason with, with or without Again, your consent or knowledge. The RFID chip also has a microphone so that the government can drop in and listen to you anytime. So, wala ka na pong privacy, wala ka na pong, ibig sabihin, uh, lahat-lahat ng ginagawa mo, ay naka-monitored ka na sa government. Alright? So, let's continue. Mm, anywhere for a reason and you guess it with or without your consent or knowledge and here's the best part if you refuse to implant with the air of id chip the government will deactivate your chip and you will have nothing like i've said before no sss no birth certificate no money 
know nothing. Punta din naman tayo sa Biblia, sa Bible, kung ang microchip ba na ito ay nasa Biblia, or nakasulat ba ito sa Biblia, or mangyayari po ba ito, or ito ba talaga ay totoong nasa propesya. So, let's go and uh, check it out. According to the scripture, the mark is something that will involve the vast majority of people as all, all lahat, lahat po lahat, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, will receive it. It is of such great importance that no man might, might or will be able to buy or sell if he does not have it. So, ibig sabihin, magiging mandatory magiging mandatory po ito na kailangan ng sundin ng lahat ayan so the inclusion of the term sell along with buy indicates that the consequences of it go beyond having money to make purchases when seen together it becomes clear that those without the mark will not be able to earn a living or engage in a business So, ito po, gaano po ito ka-importante ay parang pera na po. Na pagdating po ng panahon ay ang pera, hindi na po ito magagamit. Dahil ang gagamitin po ng bawat isa sa atin ay itong microchip na ito. Dahil ang microchip na ito ay dito na po lahat, naka-indicate lahat, lahat, lahat na po ng trust transaction sa ating buhay. Ayan, so recall that in the Revelation, The mark is placed in the forehead or a right hand. This is where biblical theorists often make a jump in logic that this refers to RFID chip. As this technology is currently the only kind that can be implanted in the body. So, makikita po natin na sa revelation, very specific po na nakalagay doon na sa forehead and sa right hand. Bakit po kaya kailangan na nasa forehead or bakit po kaya kailangan na nasa right hand? Let's go ahead. Yet a careful Bible student never forces conclusion. Instead, he allows the Bible to interpret itself. Simply breaking down the two terms reveals the actual meaning of the ver verses. Alright? So, ito po. Bakit po sa hand? The frontal lobe of the human brain is the area where a person makes a decision. So, yan po ang dahilan kung bakit sa forehead po or sa noo po natin ito mailalagay. With his hands, he performs actions, deeds, or works. Through the right hand, a person acts upon choices made in his forehead and the mind. So, ito po kung bakit naman po sa right hand mo ilalagay ay dahil matatrack po nila yung mga performance natin, yung mga actions natin, yung mga deeds, yung mga trabaho, lahat-lahat na po. So, ito po ang dahilan kung bakit nakalagay po ito sa ating forehead or sa right hand. So, very biblical po ito na talaga na nakikita natin just as a Christian obeys God and therefore belongs to Him. A person with a mark describes in Revelations obeys and belongs to someone called the beast. So, pag nagpalagay po tayo or kapag nagpa-inject po tayo sa microchip na ito, ay uh, meron na pong nag, nag parang remote control na po tayo kung baga na meron ng taong nagmamayari sa atin na pwede nating i-direct kung ano yung gusto nating gusto nilang gawin sa atin. So, ayan po ang consequences kung tayo po ay magpapa-inject sa microchip na ito. Ayan. So, ayan po, it's very very clear na nandiyan po sa revelation. Ang revelation po ay diyan nakalahat Diyan lahat nakasulat ang mangyayari in the future. At lahat ng nandiyan ay it will come to pass. Okay, tignan po natin yung sinabi ko sa inyo na lahat ng nakasulat sa Bible ay mangyayari at mangyayari. Sabi niya sa Isaiah, Isaiah 14 verse 24, babasahin ko po ito sa 
a New Living Translation or NLT. The Lords of Heaven's Armies has sworn this oath. It will, it will all happen as I have planned, and it will be as I have decided. Sabi niya po sa NLT. Ayan. So, lahat po ito ay mangyayari. Okay, um, punta pa tayo sa isang proof na na talagang lahat ng nakasulat dito ay mangyayari. Nandun po sa Matthew 24 verse, 24 verse 35. Okay, basahin ko po dito sa uh, NIV. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So, heaven and earth, magunaw man ang buong mundo, pero ang salita ng Panginoon ay mangyayari at mangyayari. Ano man ang iyong religion, ano man ang klase ng iyong church, uh, ito po ang aking masasabi. Religion cannot save us, but our relationship with God. So, iset aside po natin ang religion, kung anong klaseng religion po tayo, magkaisa po tayo na kung tayo ay isang kristyano, gamitin po natin itong YP na ito as a platform to spread the word of God. So, maraming salamat mga kapatid sa support at sa pagtapos sa aking video na ito and I pray na meron po kayong nakulot o natutunan na aral. Okay, I will leave this verse, okay, guys? As we, as we await the blessed hope and the glorious appearance of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat and God bless you all. Bye!